Hello, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, my family, to this special episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God by person of Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume, DSC, DSC, DD. And in today's video, guys, before I, um, you know, actually talk about what today's video is all about, please, I kindly like to request that, you know, sometimes I see that some people don't get to watch the video, all right, to the end. Then they'll go ahead and um, go to the comment section and comment all right with your thoughts without watching the video to know what the video talks about please always ensure to watch the video to the end before you start commenting all right so you better understand what the video talks about and why everything in the video is the way it is okay guys in today's video the man of god pastor chris is going to be um you know correcting some some of us concerning the way we pray a lot of us don't know how we pray all right so this will help you you pastor is going to let us know that you are it is foolishness it is, in fact it is nonsense for you to pray to jesus you're going to listen to this so that you can better upgrade all right in your prayer life very very important and before we dive into the video guys uh, for those of you coming newly to my channel i quickly like to request that you go ahead and just click the subscribe button subscribe to this channel and if you have not liked today's video please kindly hit the like button and like today's video so that this video can be recommended to other people guys and then let's watch the man of god by person of reverend dr chris Oyakulume, and i'll be right back immediately after this please watch this important things to recognize in your prayer five important things um because you know i, I said when when you want to build faith in your in healing you study what the word of god says about healing it will build your faith strong if you want to have faith in your prayer you look at what the word says about prayer and it will build your faith strong if you want to walk in the spirit you want to learn more about walking in the spirit you find out what the word of god says about walking in the spirit it will build your faith strong so I just want to touch on these vital elements that should guide your prayer today. And they will also help you distinguish between praying like you're in the old covenant and praying like you're in the new covenant. They are not the same. They're not the same. For example, point number one. In the New Testament, we pray in the name of Jesus. That is very important. So let's read St. John's Gospel, chapter 16, from verse number 23. I want you to observe what he says. He says, and in that day you shall ask me nothing. You're not going to pray to me. Jesus says you don't pray to him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he'll give it to you. Now, I want you to notice what it says. You don't pray to me, Jesus says, but whatever you ask the Father. So in the New Testament, you, he says, in that day, you see, in that day. And, and you know, this discussion began from chapter 13. This particular section of the discussion began from chapter 13. So you understand what day is referring to. So, and, and, and this falls into the day of the church. It's the new system, the new way. It's the day in which he comes back to us in the power of the Holy Spirit and we live in him. So in that day, you shall not pray to me. So we don't pray to Jesus. In fact, legally, it makes no sense to pray to Jesus in the name of Jesus. I cannot come to you in your name. You see, I can make a demand of you in your name. You see that? So he says, you shall not pray to me. You pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. That's very important. That's number one. They didn't have that in the Old Testament. All right. They didn't have that in the Old Testament. So you pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. Now, what does that imply? When you pray in the name of Jesus, it's as though Jesus is asking for it. And when you pray like that, it's 
out of your hands. I want you to understand the teachings of faith, the teachings that Jesus gave about faith. Most of that teaching is not New Testament teaching. He was teaching Israel in the Old Covenant. He was teaching Israel in the Old Covenant. For example, he said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall not do, uh, says, you, you shall do more than what was done to the fig tree. You say, move from here to there, you can move mountains. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. So, so the question will be, do we have faith? Once he said to the, to the disciples, how come you have no faith? Another time, it is, oh, ye of little faith. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God, my personal Reverend Dr. Chris Oya Kilome, as he shares that amazing thought. All right, it's very important that you learn this thing because a lot of Christians don't actually know how to pray. All right, you keep on praying. Imagine somebody going to church and praying for money tonight and it's all praying nonsense. All right, why? Because the content of your prayer is not according to the scriptures. So what Pastor Chris is actually, um, you know, teaching today or explaining today is something very vital that a lot of Christians don't actually take note of, all right? So it's important that you know that you don't pray to Jesus, all right? You pray in the name of Jesus. So this was a deep correction and many might decide to attack it. But if you decide to attack this kind of teaching, it means uh, that your prayer life, you, we already know why you don't receive answers in your prayer. Why? Because you don't pray the right way. Right, so this is the right way that has been pointed out by the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, and every Christian needs to adhere to, to it, guys. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. I'm really excited, and I want to look forward to seeing you in my next video. And for those of you coming newly to my channel, please, I kindly request for you to, you know, click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And if you have not yet, um, you know, like today's video, please, everyone should go ahead and just hit the like button. I like today's video so that this video can be recommended to the other people thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye i love you